Hello everyone, today I will present you the section module of Structural Bridge Design. So there will be two parts. One, I will present you globally uh, what we can do with section modules. And a second part, when on a simple rectangular section, I will do like a tutorial step by step. So with section module, of course, you will have section properties. You will have torsion and shear. You will have bending, axial and shear, you can see there. You can have general stress and strain, interaction surface, this one, and interaction curves, this one. You could have moment curvature and differential curvature too. So when you start, you can start from a template or from zero. Here I will start from zero. I will se select section and my uh, Euro code with French national annexes. Then here I will add my concrete. So classic concrete, I will select for building and 25. So it, when you change it already recognized as you can see. And then I will add some steel, classic steel for rebar. I could have add a tendon or other kind of steel or different, uh, I would say concrete if it's cast in place or precast. Here you will have all the parametric shape. As you can see, of course, we have rectangular, circle, all what you can see. And you can transform if you want to a user section. It means after you will be point by point. Here. Of course, you can add a polygonal section too. Here. So you can select the number you want here. And of course you can mix, uh, you will see uh, after. And after that, we will have all the section uh, from classic uh, precast section, I would say, or reinforced concrete section from uh, US, UK, uh, nearly uh, everywhere. So you don't need to redraw them if you need. And of course, after you will be able to have classic, I would say, uh, steel section from European database or elsewhere. Here, US, uh, then you can have uh, user definition like here, but the main, um, I would say, what we will add, usually it's add from a text file, like here, so it's a SFX. As you can see, you can define point by point, and same for the rebar, we can see, we will see after. Here you have it. And of course you will say that, for example, this, it's concrete, and of course, the other one, it's a void. It's fine, but yeah, you can define it. So once you, done, you have done this, you can uh, add a uh, rebar. Of course, nowadays, uh, when we have point to draw them uh, in uh, AutoCAD or another software, so you will have a DXF and you can import this DXF. You will be able to select the layer here and of course after you can say it's concrete here and then for example you can add a, a void so the void can be a rectangular so here after you will click to add rebar so you click on add rebar you select for example you want uh, them uh, eight by face you want uh, 25 and after you will just have to click on the fights, say the cover you want, and it's done. And you can uh, have uh, put at the angle or import a text file uh, if it's more complex or easy to do. So I will create uh, my load case. First, uh, I will create the ultimate. I will add my permanent and live load. Here. So here I want to have 1.5, so I will select user, and of course I copy paste the value from Excel 
in the two cases and it's populate and once you have done it you say okay after i will do the same for my services so i will call it uh, sls1 here same i change and i will uh, pass same from excel you see and of course when i have done this it's populate and i can say okay so now i will do my analysis of bending here after i can define my share and my creep uh, here i will set to two for example in a more i would say classic way and we can define the parameter for shear here okay and if you prefer you can define parameter with humidity and all what you need so after yeah, here it's simple but you can i would say tune all the parameters to find the element and i will add uh, another Banding moment in the other direction for you to see uh, what we can do. Of course, it will take the same uh, value below uh, between the two. And here it is. So you can have a very uh, detail and you can choose uh, how many uh, angle and step by step you want. If the section is more detailed, maybe it could be uh, useful, I would say. Here. So here I will go for section. So here you have gross section, transform section, crack with all rebar and plastic. Okay. And uh, yeah, each time uh, you can have result uh, if you want in detail. And you can have torsion. Here you can analyze here. So I will go for interaction surface. So here you see, uh, and after you can select uh, a load case, and uh, when you select the load case, it will go automatically in the good uh, plan view, like this. And if you want to have a more detail, you can uh, ask for the calculation knot and you see the result. So let's analyze uh, interaction curve i put 100 analyze and here uh, you have the value here you can uh, adjust and select uh, what you want and last uh, moment curvature analyze same you can update if you want it to be more accurate and you can select uh, what you want in uh, value and last but not least temperature so here we will select uh, which temperature you want and here you have the result here you have the result let's move to the second part where we will analyze this rectangular section from one meter to 90 with 10 rebar of 25 uh, uh, millimeters, uh, classic concrete cover five, four centimeters, and uh, all these parameters for the creep. So I will create a new uh, design section. So I will add my concrete, like the first one. Okay, then I go to my section. I will add my section, a parametric shape here. Uh, it's concrete. Okay, then I will add my rebar. I will draw rebar by face. I want 10. I want 25 and I click cover. I want 40. OK. 
Okay. Okay. And then I will add. So I will add uh, my load case here. So I will add my load case, which is permanent and variable. I will call it ULS1. And here it's populate. And I go to user definition. So here it's one by five and I have my banding moment. So I do the same for uh, SLS. Here, user define. So, okay. And so now I will go here and ending result here. So I will go for the creep. So of course I could have done freedom here, but I won't do it. Here I have 45%. I have 50 years. Okay, and as you can see, each time I change, it updates here. And I think I will put load at 20 days. And that. And here I will choose long term. Okay. And now I can have a look at the result. So here uh, we choose so long term. Okay. And I have this compression and this traction. So now let's have a look at uh, my Excel uh, spreadsheet. So I have all the same elements. I will choose only long term. And I have my equivalence between the two young modules. And here, so same value of D and same rebar. And at the end, I find uh, 8.06 and 304.92. And if I look in the calculation notes of the design, it's the same well nearly the same so if i put along we can say they are really really close now let's do the same in robot so here i select this beam here here i select uh, the same parameter i have for creep um, the load I calculate the load in order to have the same uh, bending moment here in ULS and SLS. Here my value for concrete and steel. Of course, here I copy past the value in my Excel and then in PowerPoint. And here you see the difference is less than half a percent. Of course, with structural design you can do really more. Uh, strange sections and in robots. Thank you for watching.